Gallagher, we have breaking news regarding the murder of a 22-year-old nursing student from the University of Georgia. The body of Lake and Riley was found late yesterday after she did not come home from a run. Police found her body in a wooded area near the UGA campus in Athens. They say she did have visible injuries. And now, a 26-year-old man is in custody, Jose Antonio Ibarra was arrested on murder charges a short time ago, and we are learning Ibarra is not a U.S. citizen and that he might be from Venezuela. Remember, President Biden offered a half million Venezuelan migrants legal status and work permits, and there is a major concern across the country about many of those migrants belonging to dangerous Venezuelan gangs. If this suspect turns out to be a Venezuelan criminal, the crisis at the southern border is about to take on an entirely new dimension. Fox News at night. So again, we have a tragic story that a young person, a young innocent person, was abducted and killed by an illegal immigrant. It's not the first time we have seen these stories over the past couple of years, and unfortunately, it won't be the last. This young lady, her name is Lakin Riley. She was a 22-year-old nursing student at the University of Georgia, and she went out for a run, and she never came back. The authorities were notified, and the search ensued, and unfortunately, they found her deceased. They have since arrested 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra. Mr. Ibarra is a Venezuelan national who was let out on parole in Venezuela and crossed into El Paso, Texas in September of 2022 illegally. He has since been charged with malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, and hindering a 911 call, and he concealed the death of another. That another is that young lady, Lakin Riley. This is the scholar right here. And I say scholar because these are the people that the Biden administration want to let into our country. As a matter of fact, the Biden administration wanted to give thousands of Venezuelan nationals working papers so they could stay in the United States and do whatever it is Biden thinks they were going to do. But what they fail to understand is these people are criminals, and I'm not going to say all, but a lot of them are hardened criminals. Specifically, this man right here was in prison in Venezuela for God knows what, but their authorities didn't care. He served his time, let's let him on parole. And the first thing this guy did was take off and head for the border. And lo and behold, he ended up in our country and he has killed someone. He has killed a young girl who was studying nursing in college, probably something she's thought of since she was a little girl. And her life was taken by a thug, a criminal someone who did not belong in the United States of America. But because we have thousands upon thousands crossing into this country every day, there's nothing the authorities can do. They are left alone to come into our country and they're spread out all over. And this is the tragic outcome of one of these illegal immigrants. What was the reason that he killed this girl? because he's a criminal. I don't know if she was assaulted sexually. I hope she wasn't, but they said her body did have a lot of bruising on it and an autopsy has to be performed so they can determine exactly how she died. A life cut short by a scumbag who should have still been in prison in his country of origin, but no one cares. No one cares, especially U.S. politicians. And there's one politician in particular who doesn't care, and her name is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She recently held a town hall meeting, and she was interrupted by people yelling and screaming that she does nothing for the people of New York. All she cares about is letting illegal immigrants into this country, and of course, she denies that. All right.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, clearly I don't because I'm an elected member of Congress. So keep it pushing, bro. That right there is fed up people. They're tired of being abused by politicians who they elected into office. And now the politician turns on them and they don't care about the residents who they're supposedly serving. They care about bringing illegal immigrants into this country. And AOC can deny that all day long. But you know, and I know, it's true. And she recently gave an interview and she told us basically that the border crisis is pretend. It's a narrative made by the Republican Party because they're racist and they have nothing else to talk about. The idea that Republicans, in order to win an election, say we need to hermetically seal the border when they know that that would be, that is economic self-sabotage to the U.S. economy. And they are saying, let's, let's do it anyway. And to compensate for the negative effects, we're going to allow and throw people's kids into factories. That is what they are doing in rolling back child labor laws while being as xenophobic and anti-immigrant as, as they are. And while ginning up this, this false narrative about this being a crisis, and by the way, by then also preventing and blocking any legislation yeah. that would provide not just a path to citizenship, but a path to work papers, a path to allowing people who want to work to be paired with American businesses who need people to work. And I mean, there's, there is not only no moral calculation, there is no economic calculation, there is no logical calculation, there is only a political calculation. And that political calculation is we are going to keep whining about it. Mm -hmm. We are going to keep pretending this is a crisis while contributing to actual problems. And then we're going to block the solution so that we can campaign on it over and over and over. And we can call it caravans. We can call it migrant crises. We can call it family separation. And they will just recycle it over and over and over again in order to gin up you know, just so much animosity and destruction in this country and racism in this country, because that's the only thing that the Republican Party even is standing on. at this. So that was the congressional bartender telling us that there is no border crisis. Republicans refuse to pass any border legislation. They're basically self-sabotaging our economy by not letting millions of illegals into our country. How is that self-sabotaging? People coming in are being taken care of by sanctuary cities and states who are now complaining to the Biden administration that they can't afford it. And what's the Biden administration doing? Telling them, oh, well, we can't help you. You're on your own. AOC also accuses Republicans of wanting to roll back child labor laws and keep these kids in their own countries so they could be thrown into factories. Have them work for little to no money as young children when we all know that's also false. The border crisis is not a false narrative. It is a real crisis that our country is facing and it's been facing since Joe Biden took office in 2020. Republicans want to work on a border bill but they refuse, and I agree with them, they refuse to get on board with something that's going to give billions of dollars more to Ukraine instead of the United States borders. But let's say, for instance, the Dem uh, congressional Democrats want to give $75 billion to Ukraine and $15 billion to the U.S. borders. Why would anybody be on board with that? We're tired of funding a war in Ukraine while our country is being invaded by God knows who. And they're coming from all 
over. They're coming from China. They're coming from the Middle East. They're coming from Africa. They're coming from everywhere. And these Democrats will continue to tell us and want us to believe that their families looking for a better life. But if you go back to 2020 and start looking into this border crisis, you'll see that the majority of the people crossing are military age men. And why is that? I wish I had an answer, but what I'm thinking is not good. Our country is being taken over by people from all over the world. And AOC is saying that all we care about is using that as a narrative to win elections. People should be outraged and not vote for any politician, Republican or Democrat, who think an open border is okay. Our country is failing because of the weak policies of the Biden administration. End of story. There is no other reason this is happening. And Joe Biden now, all of a sudden, being on the campaign trail, because we know he's going to be our president again, he's saying that, oh yeah, I do have executive authority to do something at the border. But two years ago, he had no control of it. It was all Congress. He couldn't do anything. But all of a sudden, hey, I think I can stop it. And why is he saying that? Because he wants all these weak, spineless liberals to see, oh, Joe did close the border. He cares about us. Let's vote for him again. You know as well as I do, this could have been stopped as soon as it started. And I do understand that we'll never stop illegal immigration. I get that. But at the rate that it's happening, it can be stopped. There is a proper way to citizenship. You have to wait your turn to come into the country, be vetted, and then be allowed to stay here. Bottom line, these people are coming in. They're being spread out all over the United States, and no one knows who they are. No one knows exactly where they came from. No one knows their background. When we all know a lot of them are hardened criminals, violent criminals, whether it's drug traffickers, human traffickers, uh, who knows how many murders they may have committed, dangerous gang members, these are the people that are now in the United States of America, and the Democrats think it's okay if the rest of us have to look over our shoulder every day. God forbid there's going to be some nut behind us who doesn't belong here, okay? And that goes in hand with them wanting to take away our Second Amendment rights to carry firearms. Every American should be able to legally conceal carry if they're a law-abiding citizen, especially today. We saw what happened now in the University of Georgia campus. An innocent girl was killed just going out for a jog by a guy who should not have been in this country. He still should be imprisoned in Venezuela, but now we have him. We have him, and he'll probably stay in prison in our country for the rest of his life, and the United States taxpayers will have to pay for that while the failing policies of AOC and all her compadres in the Congress and Joe Biden and his failures, this is going to continue. I don't know who's going to be the president in 2024 after the election. I certainly hope it's not Joe Biden. But this right here, this tragic story, is one of the main reasons why people need to wake up, open their eyes, and realize that we are being invaded by criminals every single day, 24 hours a day. And the Biden administration is doing zero to stop it. He needs to close the borders. He needs to send every available military personnel he can to the border to stop it. They put up razor wire in Texas. Biden orders them to take it down. What are we doing? We are failing as a country 
because of the policies of the Democrats, and something needs to be done.